Hi, I'm Prexy and you, Verola, 20, second year college marketing student. It's my first time to finally say my side to those who sometimes misunderstand that I'm dense, I'm unapproachable, and masungit. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story of mine. I may not have a very inspiring testimony, but you know, God's grace really amazes me. I'm an introvert, and the pandemic worsened it to the point where I developed social anxiety. I don't want to go out with a lot of people. I'm not interested in making friends or even socializing. I'm not even good at it. I always lock myself in my room and have a nervous breakdown there. And I've, I'm not sure if this desire to be alone will last forever, but, but I'm trying. Then one night, as I'm scrolling through my phone, I got a message. Then I got interested. Maybe I should try it for for one night, I say. And then every night, every 8 p.m., I got excited and I'm really looking forward to meet these youths. Every day we have a session to read the Bible, to reflect our everyday life to ask each other what's going on with our day. I even invited Saraya to be with us and she's enjoying it too. We had fun, we were blessed. You know, we got motivated to start our day. Will you believe that we got high grades on our exams despite the fact that we decided not to study that night in order to attend the worship? Honestly, it healed me. These sessions every night give me hope that tomorrow will be just fine and it will be better. I'm starting to hope that even if there's a pandemic and I can't go out, like, hey, I've, I've got these friends all the way from Laguna. But of course, these sessions are not meant to go on forever. All of us, since we're students and some of us have night classes, the group rest for the meantime. But it's okay because they really help me a lot, a lot to go on every day to survive online classes. However, another blessing happened. I already mentioned that I'm not good at making friends and that I do not wish to make friends but this acquaintance of mine asked me while we were inside the car papunta kami nun sa ministry and sabi niya hey sali ka kanalbit niya ako sabi ko saan sabi niya sa media ministry daw honestly my heart pounded not not because I'm excited to join but because I'm nervous I have a lot of what ifs like Kaya ko ba? Kakayanin ko ba? Paano kung hindi ko kaya, di ba? But maybe I'm wrong. I believe that the Holy Spirit moving me, encouraging me to try. And at the very least, I should get out of my comfort zone. Plus, it's for the ministry of the Lord, so I should definitely join. <laughs> now, my whole journey with the media ministry seems like a roller coaster ride. The small ministry before became big and now, by the grace of God, the whole team is blessed with overflowing blessings from God. I made new friends and slowly I'm regaining the confidence to step out and talk with them as if we're all close. I'm still trying though. The team were one of their rarest friends I brought to our house. God gave me a family, a family that I can forever cherish as we all work to share the good news of the Lord. To anybody who watched my short testimony, I'd like to inform you that God is great, greater than our problems, greater than 
any difficulties we may face, stronger than our fears, greater than our heartbreaks, greater than our anxieties. This pandemic indeed have the positive side of a story. I get new friends, I get new family, I'm slowly healing, I'm starting to socialize and open myself to others again. Thanks to the youths from Laguna, to my TGN fam, and the whole Manila Adventist College staff who checks up on me. To all understanding professors and to the healthy community I'm in. You're all the best and I praise God that I'm here where I'm I right now. Loud and proud I say that the will of God is truly the best happening in my life. It's not easy to open up. It's not easy to go out of your comfort zone. When you feel compelled because of your anxieties, depression, or personal problems, I tell you that your feelings are valid. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be alone. It's okay to be not okay. Please do know that I'm praying for you and I'm always rooting for you. You know, some of the happiness today in your life may not be as you planned, but trust me, God knows what's best for you, so don't give up. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye.